A pack of hounds rips apart a live fox during a hunt in Dorset in early December. And this, let's be very clear, is illegal. And today we've been told that this hunt is being suspended. Here it is. For generations, the Blackmore and Sparkford Vale hunt has ridden to hounds and proudly proclaims, we hunt within the law. But footage given exclusively to Channel 4 News shows otherwise. It's the 4th of December, and the North Dorset Hunt saboteurs are out with their cameras, openly monitoring the hunt's activities. A fox runs by. The saboteur screams for the hounds to leave it. Leave it! Leave it! It prompts the huntsman to call them off. But when the hunt goes on to private land, the sabs have to turn to a secret drone, and then it's a different story. What they've done is they've chased a fox into some farm buildings. Here is the terrier men and hunt staff. They're aware the fox has run into this barn here. Members of the hunt marked in blue, the fox marked in red. Following a pre-laid animal scent is legal. Knowingly chasing a live fox is not. So rather than pursuing here, they should be calling the hounds off. This terrier man has seen the fox, so he'll be running after it. Um, calling the hounds up. The fox runs along that hedgerow. The fox then makes a fatal mistake, doubling back across the farm. Within moments, the hounds are on it. And they've caught the fox here. You can see the hunt master just here. He's making no attempt to call them off. The hunters simply watch, then retrieve what's left of the fox when it's all over. It's not the first time questions have been asked about the way this hunt behaves. According to the League Against Cruel Sports, the Blackmore and Sparkford Vale hunt was the worst offender last season for illegal hunting. As the sports governing body and the Dorset Police investigate this incident, across the country, the way the Hunting Act is policed is also in the spotlight. It isn't a balanced debate. If we are boots on the ground, if we are investigating, let's get it right as best we can. The police have found themselves criticised by both sides for how they manage the issue. And so they're taking officers back to the classroom to reiterate the law. But obviously this is about the law. It's not about the emotive side of what's right and wrong. It's what the law says. The hunters and the sabs regularly clash, but much of the illegality only comes to light due to the work of those monitoring the hunts. Uh, people can get uh, very passionate about the subject on both sides. But the fact is that one side is trying to stop something illegal uh, and another side is intent on uh, perpetuating some illegal activity. Since November, there have been over 300 incidents of a fox being visibly pursued by dogs, according to the latest figures from the League Against Cruel Sports. The recently appointed police lead on fox hunting is clear. The Hunting Act is vague and badly framed. We're not the moral police. It's, it's not our place to have the debate about the rights and wrongs of fox hunting. At the moment, what we've got is a law uh, that has a high level of ambiguity within it. Uh, and there was, without doubt, being used at times by some as a smokescreen to allow them to continue hunting as they said they would 20 years ago. Everybody knows this. In our rural communities, what you're facing is a real lack of trust and confidence that the police will fulfil its fundamental role of upholding the law and that's what this is. This is upholding the law and in today's context we should be very concerned about anything that's eroding that trust and confidence. But there are successful prosecutions. At the end of last year this incident, which be warned is extremely distressing, resulted in two convictions. This is the Avon Vale hunt, not chasing a fox but digging one out of its den and throwing it alive to the hounds, watched amongst others by a young boy. Two men were given suspended custodial sentences for this. The hunt itself had already been expelled from the sports governing body for another similar crime. Not a one-off, it seems. We don't know where, we don't know when, but this synonymous footage shows the same blatant criminality. We went to the sports governing body, the British Hound Sports Association, to ask them about these incidents. As a result of the drone footage they told us today, they've taken action, saying... 
The BHSA are aware of the contents of footage taken on the 4th of December. As a consequence, the Blackmore and Sparkford Vale hunt and all BHSA members within the hunt were suspended from all hunting activities on the 24th of January, pending further investigation. The incident has been referred to the Hound Sports Regulatory Authority, who will open a disciplinary inquiry. We approached the Blackmore and Sparkford Vale hunt about the incident, but they declined to respond. The police are now coordinating national action. Fox hunting's governing body has acted fast after many of these crimes. Yet, 20 years on from the supposed ban on fox hunting, they still keep happening.